Hey everybody, there's a lot of things going on behind the scenes here at the Off Grid Guru, and I just wanted to let you know about some of them right now. First up on the bat, we've got the Aircrete Dome Building Workshop, which I'm going to be helping teach and documenting next month in June. And if you want to know more about that, then just stick around. I'm going to be talking about it in a moment. If you don't know about Aircrete yet, then you definitely want to stick around because I'm going to be talking about not only this workshop, but uh, how I got first interested in Aircrete and what I've learned about it thus far. I actually already have a lot of experience in Aircrete, so this is going to be uh, informative and helpful for you if you don't know about Aircrete. Up next on the bat, I also wanted to let everyone know if you haven't heard yet that I'm hosting a monthly Q&A live chat where I'm gonna be answering questions that have to do specifically with the six design principles of Earthship systems. So the off-grid systems that make Earthship some of the most self-sufficient buildings in the world. Uh, all of the videos that I've been posting, there have been some excellent questions that I've received also in my inbox. And the reality is, is that I just don't have the time to answer everybody's questions, but I am very excited to be able to sit down with each of you and hash out some of these details and get some real FaceTime with everybody about your specific questions. I have a website now, theoffgridguru.com, that you can go and check out more information about that class if you're interested. Anyways, without further ado, I wanna talk about this upcoming workshop in June in Utah that I'm going to be helping teach and documenting. If you already know about Aircrete, then you already know all the reasons why I'm super excited about this. And that is because it is a DIY material with a minimal amount of technology required to create uses 10 times less uh, Portland cement than concrete. It is an incredible organic architectural style that you can learn how to create yourself so that you can make structures that are fire resistant, mold and insect proof, rodent resistant, uh, just an all around incredible material to be working with. Yeah, I'm excited to be going to another Dome Guy workshop. The last one I went to was in 2019 in Baja, California. It was incredible and I met my mentor, uh, Ignacio, who is going to be teaching this workshop. The Dome Gaia courses are a ton of fun. I had such a great time at the first course with Ignacio that I decided to even stay for an extra two months and really absorb that education. You know, 10 days is great. You can learn everything that you need to know to replicate basically these technologies at home. But for me as a builder, you know, I really need to have hands-on and in-depth experience to be able to say that I can, you know, teach these things to other people. So I actually was studying Aircrete in 2019 for two months with Ignacio and it was a very fruitful experience. Uh, I learned a ton. I'm very excited to be getting back at it. Anyways, guys, without further ado, I want to tell you more about this course so that you can decide if it's right for you and let's take a look. All right, so you can tune in with me on domegaia.com. Go to the upcoming workshops and go to Boulder, Utah. June 6th to the 15th, 2022. This location is incredible as they always are. Um, oftentimes they're at an eco village or a permaculture retreat center or something of the like. We're gonna be surprised at how beautiful this location is. The, the pictures obviously don't even do it justice. So what you can expect from this is a great travel experience, a really healthy, happy, and fun building experience where you're going to be learning the skills that you need to build your own structures like this and innovate these uh, materials in the future. Uh, what we're going to be learning together, these techniques, just to give you an idea, I've already said that, you know, they're, you're, it's a DIY material, you're going to be making it yourself, it's fire and mold and insect resistant and all these things, but uh, to, to zoom out a little bit more and give you an idea of how this compares to other natural building materials, you know, right now at the moment what I've been covering on the Off Grid Guru channel is uh, a lot of earthen homes and buried homes and uh, homes that require a lot of physical labor to put together. Um, you know, this is literally the opposite. Uh, I'm going from one end of the spectrum to the other here. You know, we're talking about pounding tires uh, over to stacking blocks that weigh nothing, uh, you know, with a compass to make a circle that just automatically closes itself and then forms into a beautiful structure. But in, you know, in terms of this workshop, what we're talking about here is basically, uh, and, and with every Dome Geyer workshop, it's you know, a 10 day intensive where you're going to learn how to mix uh, aircrete, pour aircrete, creating aircrete blocks that are then stacked, mortared, using a compass to create the round dome, plastered on both sides with a glue and a reinforcing mesh that allows the wall to stay rigid as you're going up, eventually closing at the top, 
And of course, each student is going to walk away with a set of the architectural drawings of Steve Areen's dome that he built in Thailand, as well as the student handbook that's going to include the recipes and the formulas for the entire process of creating and pouring and stacking your own aircrete dome, uh, as well as how to build the forms and all the formulas necessary from start to finish with inspiration and resources that you can use when you're going to be building your own home. So it's an overall very inspiring environment to be in and it tends to attract people who have a similar mindset. The teachers are there to support you. I'm gonna be there to support you. It's one thing that I really appreciated about the way that Dome Gaia courses are set up. Um, you know, the organization from the beginning, it's like an artist studio that you have everything you need to be able to, to paint your painting, you know? The mixing station and the you know cutting station is all set up and sorted and then you have the bending station so that you can create round forms and archways and doors and the round windows and things like this the skylights so even though all of those moments might not be captured within one course because typically the idea within the course uh, duration is to just get one dome up and completed which is still a massive accomplishment in comparison to other natural building courses uh, you know, you might not ever see the final roof and interior finishes of a structure on another course, you know, no way, no how. With a Dome Guy course, you can pretty much count on that you're gonna be completing at least the one dome during the course duration, unless, you know, all of our efforts are gonna be spread out into making multiple domes. For example, you know, when I was uh, doing the first Dome Guy course, over the 10 days, we were spread out because there were multiple domes. Um, so that was a little bit of a different scenario, but in the instance where you are building one dome and there isn't any weather or significant setbacks, then you know you should be seeing that dome to completion, which is a pretty special accomplishment to have as a group. It's a really feel-good moment uh, for everyone who's involved, the teachers and the students included. And like I said, you know, Dome Gaia was started in Hawaii. It's all about aloha. It's all about the good times. You know, part of the facilitation of this course was making sure that everyone had a great experience so you know this is a very unique material because from the foundation all the way to the roof uh, on your ceiling it's all the same material which makes it very easy to comprehend very easy to build um, you know some people like the brick stack method and other people are going to want to innovate this and make it more efficient for whatever style of home that they're going to be constructing or like i said uh, if you want to use it in an artistic way or possibly in your landscaping uh, or even for interior design details, you know, all of these things are open to you. You know, this is a very intuitive and organic building style that lends itself very well to people who are looking to have a creative outlet or want to create something that is going to have that aesthetic beauty in the future, regardless of whether it's a home. And that's one thing that I didn't mention earlier that I'm just gonna say now is, you know, a material is a material and you can do with it whatever you want. Um, you know, I've done some incredible things with aircrete that have nothing to do with uh, putting a roof over your head. For example, in San Francisco, we did a faux stone facade, which is like a, you know, fake stone. So you could, you know, create aircrete blocks to do landscaping details. Um, the facade that we created at my friend Terry's Airbnb, which was fairy themed, uh, you know, very much fit the aesthetic there, as well as the outdoor sink and potting station that we created at her place. Uh, you know, which is just a mind-blowing artistic installation and uh, really took the Aircrete concept as far as you could go with it. Having said that, um, it's not just the organic and sculptural and artistic uh, things that you'll take away from this, but the formula and the process of creating Aircrete can be adapted into any sort of structure that you would like. You can take a look at some of the other YouTube channels that have already covered Aircrete. Some of them have poured panels, just big flat panels, and tilted them up to create sheds. For example, the Honeydew Carpenter YouTube channel. Um, and then there are many others. You can also adapt Aircrete into other materials. For example, Styro Aircrete, where you take styrofoam and crush it up and put the beads of the styrofoam into the Aircrete mixture when it's curing. And then you have an even more robust recycled material brick that is lightweight. So lastly, 
you know, Dome Gaia is all about having a good time while learning and getting things done at the same time. So what I can say that I've appreciated about Dome Gaia and what I'm going to bring to the table for this workshop is creating that atmosphere where we can both learn and have a great time at the same time, which, you know, when you go from tire pounding and uh, moving, you know, tons of dirt to try and uh, create a structure to just lifting a light block, it's a very easy thing to do. So as you can tell, I'm really excited to be helping teach this workshop and documenting it to bring it back for all of you. I hope that I gave you enough information to make your decision on whether or not you want to attend a Dome Guide course now or in the future, and whether or not you want to continue to explore this amazing material called Aircrete and all of the different iterations. I hope I see you in Utah in June.